Financial risk management is becoming one of the fastest growing and most lucrative fields in finance. Now let's take a dive in and see why financial risk management is becoming so valuable to major financial institutions. Economic crises often result as failures in the financial risk management practices of major financial institutions. And as a result, the field is constantly changing and evolving based on new rules and regulations that govern these financial institutions. In a classic example of liquidity risk, in 1929, what's become known as the Great Depression, banks in the United States experienced massive runs by their depositors to retrieve their deposits as quickly as possible. They could not service these deposits and the result was a catastrophe for the United States and trickled onto the rest of the world. As a result, the FDIC started insuring all deposits up to a certain amount to reinstill faith in the banking system. In 1987, in an event known as Black Monday, the stock market experienced a flash crash with prices falling in excess of 29% in a single day. Uh, the driver of this event is believed to have been uh, rogue algorithmic trading uh, systems and negative feedback, feedback loops amongst traders. Uh, this resulted in a shook faith in the entire financial system and the stock market. Um, as a result, the SEC mandated the use of circuit breakers to halt trading after price moves of a certain magnitude occurred. And perhaps the most prominent example of poor financial risk management. In 2007 and 2008, we experienced the global financial crisis. Uh, this was the result of banks extending far too much credit for mortgages to home buyers who were not credit worthy. They had the stamp of approval for AAA rated mortgage backed securities from uh, the major credit rating agencies. They were able to package junk mortgages together and market them as AAA rated securities. Uh, this resulted in a huge economic collapse that lasted over three years and affected the entire world. Um, as a result of all of this, you see that the regulations are constantly changing. The OCC and the Federal Reserve came down hard on banks, and now they are very strict in the requirements that banks have to follow. And what is one of the major results in these changes in regulations uh, surrounding banks and other major financial institutions? An explosion in jobs in the field of financial risk management. Uh, professionals that know both technical skills on how to aggregate and measure data and have knowledge about financial markets will be paid a premium to come in and aggregate this information and make sure that the institution that they work for is properly assessing and managing their risk. Professionals that work in this field often have a master's or PhD degree in fields related to finance, mathematics, financial risk management, or financial engineering. Uh, professionals may also have a FRM charter, which is a financial risk management certificate issued by the Global Association of Risk Professionals, or the CFA charter, which is the Chartered Financial Analyst designation that is so prestigious in the field of finance. If you're looking to get into this field, I would suggest looking at any of the degrees or charters that I have previously listed. Professionals in this field will often find themselves employed by hedge funds, banks, or other asset management firms. They will typically specialize in what's known as a specific risk stripe. The most common risk stripes are liquidity risk, interest rate risk, credit risk, operational risk, and counterparty risk. So once someone's in this field, they'll typically learn a very niche area of the financial risk management profession and then become more and more skilled within that specific area. People who become well-rounded in multiple risk stripes will often find themselves advancing to higher positions in an organization and perhaps becoming a chief risk officer. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment letting me know and subscribe to the channel for more just like it. Thank you.